Well, this video deals with being bold, brave, and strong, but also dealing with the spirit of the age, the ancient gods of Baal, Ishtar, and Moloch. Things not seen, things not accounted for. The ancient books of 1 Kings and 2 Kings describe three spirits of the age. It says, As Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God, as the heart of David his father had been. He followed Ashtaroth, that is Ishtar, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Moloch, the detestable god of the Ammonites, and he built high places for Chemosh, Baal, the detestable god of Moab. The ancient gods, Baal, the lust of power, Ishtar, sexual depravity, and Moloch, child sacrifice. Could the unseen forces of the ancient spirits of Baal, Ishtar, and Moloch be growing in power in our culture today? Just because you cannot see them does not mean they are not at work. If you watch with discernment, you can see their effects. Example. Studies in Great Britain found that the number of teenage girls diagnosed with gender dysphoria jumped by 4,400% in 10 years. This is simply not a natural occurrence. A plausible explanation to consider is that there is a supernatural force behind it. Another example. 63 million abortions have been done in the United States since 1973. Over 17% of the U.S. population aborted. This is simply not a natural occurrence. A plausible explanation to consider is that there is a supernatural force behind it. Jonathan Kahn in Return of the Gods makes a convincing case these ancient spirits, these ancient gods, have returned. Can this explain how this inexplicable and accelerated advance in the destruction of life, marriage, sexual identities, and culture has come to pass? Is the supernatural at work and powers and principalities and rulers in high places? Well, the scriptures say, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against rulers of this dark world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. When the wicked rule, they invert the role of civil government. And if Baal, Ishtar, and Moloch are also invading our civil space, we would expect the promotion of evil and the restraining of good. And remember, wickedness is not just pure evil. It comes in many forms and is defined by the Psalms. Here are some of the categories that are defined as wicked. Pride, twisting the truth, lying, plotting, planning, conniving, doing harm, spying, cheating, troublemaking, perverted justice, doing evil, loud shouting and rioting, threats, violence, killing, societal decay, mocking God and mocking God's ways. Well, Christians and Christian leaders, we need to return and fight against the invasion of Baal, Ishtar, Moloch, against wickedness, and again, preach the four institutions of society, the kingdom of Jinda, the kingdom of agenda of individual self-government, family government, church government, and civil government that restrains evil and allows good to flourish. For remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers of this darkened world against spiritual wickedness in high places. We go forth and in this knowledge contend for the truth. My name's Craig Seibert. Thanks for listening.